Hey, what's going on, everyone? Original Hypnotoad here, welcoming you to DBL Week 2 Battle against uh, Mini Munch, coach of the uh, Minnesota Munchlaxes. We're actually trying to do a live commentary match, so hopefully the uh, game doesn't kind of like lag out or the recording doesn't like lag out because that's what it did in the past for me is it wasn't really that cl crisp and clean. So hopefully it works out fine. If not, uh, you guys will obviously won't hear any of this. But uh, anyways, uh, let me show you the team that we're bringing real fast. Uh, for those who didn't watch the preview, uh, we have Bananas, the M-Palm, Dragon Fruit, the Latias, Clementine, the Gorbis, Honeydew, the Mega Heracross, Coconut, the Registeel, and Peaches, the Donphan. So that's the team we're bringing. So let's go ahead and I'll uh, actually let me make sure that everything looks fine there. Make sure all the natures and stuff are okay. I'll have items, I'll have four moves, okay, everything looks good. So let's go ahead and send that challenge. Uh, it's obviously got to be Ubers because uh, Smash Pass is allowed, so uh, get this match going hopefully here in a second and see what we got going on. I'm actually going to pull out a little notebook right here real fast. Uh, and I'm going to write down the mons that he brought. And then we'll see from there. Alright, so uh, I'll probably, I probably won't cut this. I don't know. <laughs> I always say I would cut it, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but for those wondering what he could potentially bring, he could potentially bring a Ninjask, Gliscor, Chandelure, Kabutops, Gudra, Honchkro, Ludicolo, Electros, Mianxiao, Clefable, and slow, Mega Slowbro. So that's his team, uh, and we'll see uh, how well we prepped for the Monty Rings. So, kind of nervous. Uh, this is my first live commentary in a long time, or at least my first like first attempt in a commentary in a long time. Uh, so hopefully we can you know keep it kind of interesting for you guys. And uh, okay, so we see here he I think he just brought the same team he brought last week because last week he brought Gliscor Gudra. Clefate, yeah, he brought the same team from last week. So, no Ninjask, no Chandelure, no Kabutops, no Honchkrow, which I'm really surprised about, no Ludicolo, and uh, yeah, so he brought Gliscor, Gudra, Electrosh, Mianchao, Clefable, and Mega Slowbro. So seeing that, really, I just need to wear down the Clefable in order to uh, set up with my uh, Mega, uh, my Mega Heracross. Because, like I said earlier in the team preview, uh, plus two pin missile will just destroy all of his mons on his team. Uh, looking at what he could potentially lead with, obviously the Mian Shao is a potential lead. Uh, what speed am I at? Am I 346? Let me pull up uh, damage calc real fast. Uh, oh, hold on, let me say, let's uh, good luck, have fun real fast. Good luck, have fun. Uh, I just need to see what Mian Shao can reach. Mian Shao. Choice scarf will say you can reach 339, so uh, M Pump is definitely my best bet. He does lead with the Mian Xiao, uh, so uh, here, if he outspeeds me, he's gonna go first. Oh, if he outspeeds me, this is gonna reveal that he's scarfed right away, which is actually awesome. We actually do outspeed him, so that means we can just go ahead and click double hit right here and get a 3 KO right away. If he happens to stay in, he probably will make the switch out into Gliscor. No, it goes up to slow, but right here. Uh, double hit still going to do a decent amount of damage, uh, but this right here is going to let me be able to switch out, honestly, into, I almost want to go on the hair cross, but I can't just switch out right to that. Uh, I think Coconut here is my best switch. So, hold on, let me write that down real fast. So, Mian Xiao is not scarfed. Not scarfed. Okay, he goes for the Calm Mines. That is a little bit of a hassle for me. Uh, not really though, because I can just go for the Toxic right here, uh, get some Whittle damage here. Flamethrower is going to do a decent amount to us, uh, not actually that much. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, do I need this thing? I'm going to go with some Dragon Fruit here. I want to save this Coconut because it's a great Clefable answer. He just goes for Slack Off, so we do see that he is running that set. So he's Slack Off, Calm Mind, Flamethrower. He probably is not running Scald, so I think I can click Substitute for free right here. Which if that's, that's if I can get the skull or the substitute off, that'd be actually really awesome. I do, in fact, do get it off. Uh, so I should outspeed this thing, and I think a shy shock is my best bet. I don't want to reveal that I have ice beam yet. Uh, shy shock's gonna do 39%. We do see the iron tail. Uh, so seeing that he's going for that, 
Uh, would he have the knock off? I could go right out, back out in the coconut. Take any hit, barring like a flamethrower. Knock off wouldn't do too much. See, so yeah, I think coconut is my best play here. It goes for the Giga Drain, which is actually going to do absolutely nothing. Maybe he's predicting me to switch out into the Dawn Fan. Here I can just go ahead and get three rocks up. If he has Flamethrower, he has Flamethrower. We actually outspeed. Crazy. Volt Switch is going to do 18%. So we know he's not speed invested at all. Which is actually really nice because that means Gorbis could potentially set up. Not really actually because Volt Switch would probably just do a lot. Gliscor comes right out. So uh, we do see that he is that variant. I need to... I need to just switch right out the dragon fruit here. I know it's going to be risky to go for it, but he goes for the swords dance. We know we have speed. Ice beam will one shot. It should have one shot at least. He doesn't know I have it. Uh, he's probably swords danced. He might have knockoff. He switches out. Good play on him. He is magic guard, so uh, that's actually huge for us. So a Clefable is actually magic guard. Because that means I can set up whenever I want with uh, Mega Heracross and be three to go. So I guess switch out here. Goes for Calm Minds. That's actually fine with me. I'm just going to go for the T-Wave here. Or did I just go for Iron Head Chip Damage? I think I just go Iron Head here. He goes for Protect. Scouting what I'm going to go for. I just go for the R. Maybe just getting his leftovers back up a bit. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go for another Iron Head here. He could switch out into his Gliscor. Actually, that's probably his play, but I don't really have. I don't really want to switch out right here. Yeah, if he comes in Gliscor, he goes out to Gudra, actually. That's an interesting switch. Uh, we see Gooey, so he's Gooey. Cat stats cannot be lowered, which is really awesome. I'm just going to stay in here, and I think I'm going to click T-Wave. Because he could have the... Uh, Let's see, actually, what did, what did he bring last week? He Draco Meteor, expecting me to switch out. It's going to do actually nothing to me. Uh, so he's at minus one, or minus two. I'm kind of curious. Let me see real fast. Uh, wait, you brought Power Whip last time, didn't you? Yeah, you brought Power Whip. I can't switch out into this. Uh, so I just got to go for the Iron Head here. This score is going to come right back out, which is what I expected. Uh, that does 19%. And what, we've, what have we seen so far? We've seen Swords Dance. It's all we've seen so far. Um, hmm. This is an interesting issue because if he sets up sort, if he sets up a substitute, we're in a little bit of trouble. Actually, no, not necessarily because Peaches could probably break that sub. I'm just gonna go for the Iron Head. He goes for the knockoff, predicting me to switch out. So I'm glad I did not switch out right there. Iron Head's gonna do 18%. Uh, I think now I make the switch into Peaches. Or do I just stay in and sack off Coconut? Because Clefable, uh, Clefable is not in range, obviously, but uh, what is my play here? I go into, no, Bananas can't really take a hit. He could set up, which I really don't want. I'm just trying to think. If I go out into Latias, predicting him to go for Earthquake, on the ensuing turn, I can go out and, th if I, Somehow I'll go down here. Yeah, okay, I'm going Dragon Fruit here. If I do go down, Clementine can go ahead and just uh, Baton Pass. Goes for the knockoff. Takes us down to 6%. That's actually kind of crazy. Uh, that's actually really bad for us. So he did make a good prediction there. Good job on his part. Uh, Ice Beam, honestly, is still the right play. He could switch out to make a slow bro. Ice Beam is the right play. It's the only thing I can go for. I have to go for it. Ice Beam is going to take him down to 20, 29%. And what did... I think that I go for... Uh, where is... When did he send this thing in? Uh, Gliscor, no. Where, where where was this on at? Where was Volt Switch? I need to see Volt Switch. Uh, Psy Shock did 39%, so this does kill. So Electros is out of the case now. That's good because now that gives us a better, an easier shot to set up with Gorbis. Uh, he has to go on Mian Chao. He has to go for the fake out. Does Mian Chao get pursue? I need to double check this real fast. I don't think it does. Hey right, Mian, Mian Chao Smogon. I need to see if this thing gets pursuit. 
I know I should have probably per, uh, checked this beforehand, but I apologize for you guys. Uh, it does not get pursuit. So I can actually preserve this thing and just go out into, I think, coconut and sack it. No. Uh, I can go out to peaches and sack that, actually, because not sack necessarily. Knock off. It's going to knock off my soul vest. Kind of a shame. Um, I can just freely click knock off myself. Uh, if his glitch score comes in or just stays in here with his man shout, Earthquake probably would have killed this thing, actually. Uh... I will knock off its life orb. Uh, wait, what'd that actually do? Drain punch at, with life orb didn't do enough, so I can actually... Oh, he did get a... How, how did that do that much? I knocked off his life orb, so the drain punch should have... I guess he got a high roll. Maybe he got a low roll that first turn, but then we got the high roll the second turn. Uh, either way, I know you're not Scarf, so I do outspeed you in every sense of the way. So... Is Dragon Fruit my play here, is the question. Uh, I could set up, I could go bananas, bananas is actually kind of safe because I can just fake out whatever wants to come in, obviously, uh, huh, what's my play here, actually here, uh, because if I go dragon fruit, Latios, I go Psy Shock, he can switch in freely with his, uh, Mega Slowbro, but then I can just go right out into, uh, I could just sack. I think Dragon Fruit's my play here. Dragon Fruit's just really at low HP, and uh, the only thing on his team that could potentially be scarfed at this point is the Gudra. So Psy Shock is just my play to make. Uh, I think, because I mean, yes, the Slowbro can come, but it's toxic, and honestly, he can't, we can't switch in his Glide Score. So unless he wants to save this Mian Shao, he has to kind of sack it. He would have to sack this to get a free switch in with his Mega Slow Bro, but he just switches out Mega Slow Bro. So I Shock's going to do a total of 9%, uh, but that damage is going to actually stack up. I kind of just want to switch right out into. Uh, let me see. Mega Slow Bro uh, Calm Mind set versus uh, Mega Heracross. So Psy Shock will not do enough to one-shot me, so I could just go out. I think that's actually my play. I know it's going to be kind of crazy to do this right now. He does go right for the Psy Shock, predicting me to switch out. That's crazy, actually. Uh, that's actually a really good play on his part. I can just Mega Evolve and click Pin Missile at this point, or do I make the switch again into Dragon Fruit? I'm just trying to think. Because I'm not at plus one. Uh, I think I gotta make the prediction that he switches out into his Clefable. I gotta switch out the coconut here. He can't stay in. He stayed. Okay. So you were gonna sack your slow bro. So that's good to know. Uh, here I'm just gonna click Iron Head. Uh, maybe I'll get the flinch. You know he gets to slack off. That's actually fine by me because this is gonna whittle him down even more and more. Gliscor could come in at any moment, but I, at this point I'm not really worried. I'm gonna go for another Iron Head. Uh, just goes for the flamethrower, takes this out, unfortunately. That's actually fine with me. Because, uh, what have we seen? We've seen Calm Mind. So I think this is the chance I can use to set up right here. Because I can just... Honestly, I could... Uh, does he switch out here is the thing? Uh, does he switch out right here? The skull and the flamethrower, Psy Shock's not going to do anything to me because I'm defensively invested. I think I just Shell Smash right here. We see he stays in. He probably clicked the slack off. No, he's going for the Psy Shock. That's going to do nothing to us. Slowbro's going to go down here. Now, I dare this man to switch into the Mian Shao. I dare this man to switch into the Mian Shao. No, switches right into Clefable. Okay, this thing's actually a little bit more of a worry than I thought. Because I just took so much damage with the Mega Heracross, actually. Oh man, what's a plus two Scald do here? Oh, that's a bad. <laughs> I think I think I may have messed up really bad here, guys. Ah, uh, fudge me. Cause at this point, let me see. Uh, 
uh, what is that, Clefable. Calm my magic guard set, we'll just say, and then uh, Gorbis, Shell Smash. Uh, no, you have no investment, but you are plus two. Moonblast. I might have a chance to win it, live, so I'm going to go for a Skull here. I know this is really risky. 50% Moonblast is going to take us out. That's a big bummer, actually. <laughs> uh, but what does Rock Blast... Hold on. So, uh... Mega, Heracross. Offensive. Rock Blast does 48.2% minimum. I think I have to make that risk and go for it. I feel like I have to just go for it right here because I made a I made a big misplay by switching in with the onto the Mega Slowbro. Cause I well I guess he didn't reveal the Psy Shock. So what he was Psy Shock. He goes for a protect, getting back up to a range where I don't know if I can kill. It'd be a roll at this point, but honestly I have to go for it. It really sucks. I could have predicted that. Go for the Swords Dance, but I have to just go for it. I get the crit. That crit might just save us. 10, 10, 10. Oh, and lives on 2%. We do go down. That is a really big shame. Uh, because I'm trying to figure out what I got to do here to win this. He's paralyzed. Honestly, Amipal might still win us this game here. I had to click fake out here. Anapalm and Latias might actually win me this game back. Cause he's gonna protect here. That's fine. I could have I could have set up an agility, although that wouldn't have done nothing to me. I can just go for the double hit right here. If he switches out, I missed the double hit. Are you kidding me? He goes for the wish. He's gonna protect back up. That is. Oh my god, that is a shame. I don't know what this is going to do here. I need this to crit. That miss really is going to... I mean, I can't say it screwed me over. Because... What's this going to do? 25, 25. He's going to wish... You know, he doesn't wish again. That... Okay, he gave us another shot. He gave us the shot, guys. He managed to give us a shot back at this game. Oh, my God. No, because he still would just switch out into Mianxiao here. Fake out. Then s no, he can't wait. What's Mianxiao at? I mean, this is 67%. That, I think he still wins this game. He goes to Glide Score right here. That's interesting to do right there. Uh, double hit. Let me see. Uh, Ambipom versus Glide Score. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Ice Punch from Jolly, I'm not Life Orb. Still does enough to KO. Ice Punch will take it out. Okay, okay, you might have a shot at this still. Somehow we might have a shot. Because Gudra here. What's this do to a Gudra actually? Gudra, let's just say you're. Ch uh, what did this do earlier actually? Uh, let me see. Uh, pretty sure I went for double hit before on the mm, double or Iron Head did six. Wait, Iron Head did what? I did 29% earlier. Let me check out that real fast. So Registeel to figure out what his set is, especially defensive. Iron Head did what? Iron Head did 29%. So he's not fully the HP. So on Ambipom with no life orb. God damn it. Uh, let me do Silk Scarf real fast. So double hit versus. Ice Punch. What does more? 
Ice Punch does 49, Double Hit does. So this should kill. He switches out into Clefable. I don't know what he did that for, to be fair. Ice, I gotta go for Double Hit again. I just can't not go for it. He goes for Protect, that's fine. I have to go for Double Hit at this point. If I miss another Double Hit, that's just... That's just going to be the worst. I, I land this double hit. Oh, if I landed that first one, that would have been really crucial. Because what? Now he has to go out to me and Shao. He's back at full HP. You do have, do you have Fake Out? He hasn't revealed Fake Out yet. He hasn't revealed it yet. He doesn't have it. Oh, he doesn't have it. We just won this game. We just won this game. We came back and won this game. How does he not have Fake Out? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am clicking Ice Punch. This is going to kill. GG. Wow. No fake out. No fake out. And we win the game. We win the game, guys. We misplayed so bad. Oh, my God. No fake out? Oh, what the f... No fake out? I got to figure this out right now. No fake out. W wow. If... Wow. Why no fake out? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am actually, like, crazy excited right now. How did we pit, how did we win this back? Amber Palm, you just killed four. Wait, did he kill five mons? I think. Wow! Just wow! 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 No fake out. No fake out. Man. Yeah, you would have. But Ladias was in the back still. GG though, dude. Oh my god. Oh, I misplayed so bad. Hold on, I gotta see. Cause hold on, Amapom killed the Gudra. Ampom killed the Mian Shao. Ampom killed the Clefable. I gotta go for this again. Ampom killed the Gliscor. Yeah, no, I think Ampom got four kills. And then, well, I don't remember who, I think Latias got one of the kills, but. Oh my god, I gotta, woo, lordy, that match right there was crazy, I'm I'm pretty pumped that I won that, somehow, I gotta give credit, I gotta give major credit to Mini though, he played really, he played really good, uh, I guess, he, he out, I just out predicted him I think, I think I just over predicted way too much, uh, I didn't think that Psy Shock was gonna do that much damage, to my uh, Heracross, but obviously it did. Obviously, it's probably because I wasn't Mega Evolved right then. Uh, that was, uh, yeah, that was just, I, I misplayed so bad with my Mega Heracross. Uh, I tried to set up way too early with uh, Smash Pass, but somehow, somehow, Bananas is the MVP of the week. My god, Bananas. Once again, great game to many. Hopefully this live commentary actually is going to be able to come up to you guys because I really hope you get to see how well, how, like, how pumped I was after winning this match. Like, you have no idea. Like, I, sh I probably should have lost this match. Man, I did not, I can't believe he didn't have fake out of me on show. That was the one thing. Because when I just like glanced over the last four mons he had, I was like, okay, Ampom could potentially win me this game. I missed the freaking double hit on the Clefable. That would have gone down right there, and that would have made my life so much easier. But uh, I think I just can't believe he didn't have Fake Out on that Man Chow. Had he had Fake Out, and had he faked me out, it probably I don't know if that would have killed me though. Honestly though, Fake Out. I'm not going to calc it. I, I can't calc it. I just got to stop. So, uh, anyways, make sure you go check out Mini. Uh, I'm going to leave his... Uh, I know he has a Twitter. I'm not sure about YouTube. Uh, either way, I'll leave some links down below for him. Make sure you go check him out. Great battle. 
again, Mini. Uh, but your uh, Detroit Magnetons are somehow 2-0. and Let's go. Got to represent. And I'll see you guys in the next battle. Peace.